Hi friends, good morning, good afternoon or good evening. So today we are going to learn a trick that is how to connect multiple switches to a single pin of Arduino or any other microcontrollers which support analog input. So without any further delays, let's get started. These are the things required for our project. Couple of micro switches some resistors uh, the resistant values doesn't matter you can use any resistors which you want some leds and an mcu in my case i am using arduino nano and a breadboard now connect the circuit as shown in the diagram what i have done here is i have connected five switches to a breadboard and one end of all the five switches to the 5 volt of arduino nano then interconnect all the other end of the switches using resistors as shown in the figure and from one of the end connect a wire to the analog pin A1 then connect a resistor across analog pin A1 and ground for pull down now let's move to programming open a blank sketch in Arduino IDE First of all, let's assign a name for the pin A1. Type as defined SW A1, where SW is the name of the pin A1. Then inside void setup function, write serial dot begin with baud rate of 9600. Then inside void loop function, write serial dot print and analog read SW. This statement will read the values from the pin A1 and print it on the serial monitor line by line. Now choose the board and port from tools and upload the sketch. Now open serial monitor and press press the switches one by one. As you can see here, when I press the first switches, it is displaying 202. Now press the second switch, it is showing 253. Now press the third switch, its value is 338. Now press the fourth switch, it is showing 509. Now press the last switch, it is showing 1023 which is the maximum value so what we have seen here is every switch produce different values because whenever i press a switch the circuit is completing through different number of resistors that is when i press the first switch the circuit is completing through all the four resistors for the second switch the circuit is completing through the three resistors for the third switch it's two resistors for the fourth switch it's one resistor and finally for the fifth switch the circuit is completing without any resistors now take a notepad and note down the values for each switches for switch 1 it's 202 for switch 2 it's 253 for switch 3 it's 338 for switch 4 it's 509 and for switch 5 it's 1023 now let's connect some LEDs to the circuit as shown in the circuit diagram here I have connected all the positive terminals of the LED to the 5 volt and all the negative terminals of the LED to the digital pin D12 to D8 for practical applications you may need to connect resistors to the LED for limiting the current for time being we have connected directly now let's write the code for LEDs First, let's assign names for all five LEDs. Ash define LED1, which is connected to pin 12. Ash define LED2, which is connected to pin 11. Ash define LED3, that is to pin 10. Ash define LED4 to pin 9. Ash define LED5 to pin 8. Now, set all the pin mode to input. Pin mode LED1, comma input. Like that I want to write for all the other LEDs, pin mode LED2, comma input, pin mode LED3, comma input, pin mode LED4, comma input, pin mode LED5, comma input. Now we need to make all the pins connected to LED to high state during boot up. So for that uh, write digital write LED1, comma high, digital write LED2, comma high, digital write LED3, comma high digital write LED4 comma high 
digital right LED phi comma high. Then inside void loop function, we need to write if else if conditions to turn on each LEDs when the respected switches are pressed. These are the conditions. When the values from the analog pin is equal to 202, then the value of LED 1 will be low. That is the LED 1 will turn on. Like that when the value is equal to 2, 5, 3, the LED 2 will turn on and like that LED 3, 4 and 5 will turn on. But we have some problems with this code. Open the serial monitor and press the switches one by one. As you can see, for some of the switches the values are fluctuating. And also there is a chance of these values getting changed due to temperature of the resistance. Let's find some range of values for switch 1. The current value is 202. So let's choose plus and minus 5 values that is 197 to 207. Like that, find the range of, for every other switches. For switch 2, it's 248 to 258. For switch 3, it's 333 to 343. For switch 4, it's 504 to 514. For switch 5, it's 1015 to 20. Sorry, 1023. Uh, 1023 is the maximum value. So change our conditions according to this range of values. For that, we are going to use AND operator. And the condition is as follows. For the first switch, the condition is analog read SW greater than 197 and and analog read SW less than 207. For the second switch, it's analog read SW greater than 248 and and analog read SW less than 258. For the third switch, it's analog read SW greater than 333 and analog read SW less than 343. For the fourth switch, it's analog read SW greater than 504 and and analog read SW less than 514. For the fifth switch, it's analog read SW greater than 1015 and analog read SW less than 1023. Actually, you should write greater than or equal to operator for, for the fifth switch that is uh, greater than or equal to 1023 because there is very less chance that this value is getting changed from 1023 because there is no resistors for the fifth switch. Now upload the code. So that's it guys, our circuit is working successfully. Here we have learned how to connect more than one switches to a single pin of Arduino. Here we have chosen 10 values as the range for each switches. That is if we divide the total values that is uh, 1023 by 10 it's 102 that is you can connect 102 102 switches to a single pin of arduino if we reduce the range of the values more number is possible some of the applications which came to my mind is keypads or full sized keyboards can be made easily using this idea surely i will make a video of making full sized keyboard for arduino so guys, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And those who are still not subscribed, please subscribe for more interesting and crazy ideas.